Welcome back to Clean Freak and Germaphobe. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can make your own DIY foaming dish soap. Now, I know most people think that all you need to do is just dilute a little bit of liquid Dawn into water and that that's all you need, but the truth is there is one extra ingredient that I highly recommend that you add to make this a super powerhouse of a cleaner. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. But first, if you're new to Clean Freak and Germaphobe, make sure to subscribe and also hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. Now, the first trick, of course, is getting the right concentration of Dawn to water. I think a big mistake is a lot of people tend to overuse the Dawn. And with the foaming soap dispenser, that is not gonna work. You only wanna add your Dawn to one quarter of the way of whatever your bottle is. So we're gonna first do that. Now, the next step is to fill the bottle up with water, but with foaming soap dispensers, you always need to pay attention to the fill line. If you fill a foaming soap dispenser all the way to the top, you're always gonna have some spill over when you put the top on. But what we wanna do here is fill up the water to just a little bit below the fill line because we still have one more ingredient that we're gonna add. So let's start with the water. And then the final ingredient, which is rubbing alcohol. Now, while rubbing alcohol can be used as a disinfectant, with how much we are diluting it, it probably doesn't have very much disinfective abilities in it, but that's not why we're adding the rubbing alcohol. Instead, we're using it because isopropyl alcohol is really great for removing dyes, pen marks, and things like that. And when we add it to Dawn, the combination makes a really powerful cleaner. Pro tip also, when you get a new bottle of isopropyl alcohol, don't peel off the whole seal on the top. If you do and then you accidentally tip it over, you're gonna lose the whole bottle of alcohol out of the top. Instead, just poke a tiny hole in it. That way, if it does spill, you're only gonna lose a little bit. And the other nice thing is, it makes for nice, easy, controlled pouring. So you wanna add about one ounce of alcohol to your solution. Go ahead and put the lid on. And then this last step is really important. Do not pick it up and start shaking it. Instead, what you wanna do is just tilt it back and forth slowly to let the Dawn mix in with the water and the alcohol. You don't want this to be a bubbly, foaming solution in the container, otherwise it's not gonna dispense well enough. So you just wanna mix it well, but don't shake it. This is really great for washing dishes, of course, but another nice thing that you can do is put this on a wet washcloth and you can use this to clean up counters, tables, basically anything that you would use as an all-purpose spray, you can use this as well. Using this little hack is honestly gonna save you a ton of money because you're gonna be conserving your Dawn. You're only gonna be using a little bit compared to how much we normally use when we're using Dawn to do our cleaning. So hey, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to Clean Freaking Germaphobe for more cleaning tips up next. I'm gonna show you our video on other things that you can use Dawn for besides just the dishes. It's got a lot of great tips in there, so you don't wanna miss that. So I'm gonna link to that video right here. Click on that, and I will see you over there.